working. I have no earthly idea. Okay. This may be working. Let's see. Oh, how do I... Oh, and here's my YouTube link. Sweet. Sweet. Do people go to Kickstarter? I mean, to YouTube stuff? Yeah. Oh, well, Kickstarter retweeted me. Hello? Oh yeah, okay. I think it is working. Tell me if you can hear me. I've never done this one before. Um, but so if you... Let's try it. It is on. I can see your questions. Very exciting. I wish there was a way... Is there a way people can like come into the room and I can like see them down in the bottom? Do we know if that's possible? Because that would be cool if you guys could just come in and actually hang out with me and then you, while I'm like adding stamps to things, you could talk among your, amongst yourselves. I don't know if that's possible. Um, so it has this question thing, but it doesn't have like just straight up comments. So I wonder if you guys could just go in and like comment. Um, tell me if this is complicated. Write a question on the Q&A thing. I think you have to go on watch from the Google page, though, to do the Q&A thing. I'm not totally sure. If you want to know what I'm doing, I am putting um, stamps onto DVDs. I won't show you this person, so I'm just going to show you their address. This one's going to Jenny Tan. Tan. Um, it is taking $2.34 for every single thing that I send. If I go, it wants me to like click this for some reason. Delete question. I can delete your question or I can select your question. So weird. <laughs> Very bizarre. Okay, you guys can write stuff over on the right hand side, I think. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, oh, oh my god, you're writing things. Yay, thank you. Okay, that makes so much more sense now. I think there's a way to see people at the bottom. I feel the same way. I think there's also a same way. <laughs> I'm going to select and say I'm talking about your question. That's really very strange. Um, if you guys want to call in and see people at the bottom, if, if there's a way to do that, you guys are welcome to come and join me and chat with me and be at the bottom. I don't care. If there's a way to do it. I think I can, um, I think it can invite you somehow. Oh, yeah, totally. I can invite people if you want to give me your name. YouTube page has comments, you're saying. Oh, interesting. So the YouTube page has comments, but only G Plus has questions. Look, I'm trying to fill these Kickstarter reward perks, so I don't really want to go through the, uh, go keep toggling back and forth to the YouTube page. So if you want to ask questions, log in to the Google page. Or if you want to call me, and it'd be on the bottom of the screen. Tell me your name, and I think I can press, like, invite people up top. Oh, yeah, I can just write in your name or email address. I don't know if you guys want to send me your email address publicly, though. That's probably a bad idea. Um, wow, cool. So I can, like, click on... Interesting. Okay. Very cool. Well, if you guys have questions, comments, concerns, is there a hashtag war during the show? I don't know what that means. The answer is, um, sure. The answer is whatever you want to do. Um, I'm just going to keep selecting these and saying done. So, good stuff. 
So this may be the most boring, boring feed in the world. It's just me putting stamps on all these um, Kickstarter envelopes. Mostly just one DVD per package. Cost two dollars and thirty-two cents, but I'm putting two dollars and thirty-four cents because they don't make a thirty-two cent stamp. Um, and I've been doing this for a while, and I thought it'd be nice to get some um, folks to chat with me. So feel free to ask questions on the Google Plus page. Um, if you guys really hate that, I will go and look at the YouTube page, but it will help me out a ton. Points! Does everybody love... Um, man, it's, it's a bummer this is like a and a and not just like a straight up chat. Yeah, I don't see a straight up chat. I don't really use this thing, so. Oh, wait, chat. Google chat. To list all available commands. Group chat. But it doesn't have anything. I don't fucking know. Um, do you know there's a special media, right? Yeah. And you can get the mailers free at USPS. That I didn't know. I looked up... Um, Media rate, and I talked to them at the post office about it today, and they said that this was the rate I, I was getting. And did I back out there one This is, they. I said it's a DVD in here. Can I get like some special thing? And she was like, it's two dollars and thirty two cents. That was her thing. Um, there's a better. If you guys want me to try to chat somehow, let me know how to do that. I'm not a very. I'm not a computer wiz. I had friends over here yesterday helping me, but I don't um, know. Hey, are you and Kevin still playing Hearthstone? Also, you can totally have a chat room on YouTube during a live stream. Does that mean I have to open up a, um, I just need to open up the YouTube page? Is that kind of what I need to do to see that? John? Swinton? Um, yeah, Kevin and I are still playing Hearthstone a lot. I kind of, here's the thing. I don't know if, like, there's more people playing now. Or if I got worse, but I feel like, like, the other day I played my brother who hasn't been playing very long, and he, like, whooped my ass, and then I was, like, kind of pissed off. So I um, haven't played in a few days. Although what he did is he went and bought, he went and looked up, like, what's the winning decks for, you know, whatever. He was fighting with a mage. And um, and then he, like, bought all those cards. And I haven't ever, I haven't paid for any cards yet. I've, like, by, because of my ego and pride, I've been, like, just cards that I win or, like, um, that I make. Um, so I, uh, yeah, I haven't been playing as much. I don't know. I feel like it got harder for me for some reason. Oh, my God, these are really funny. What up, Brian? Procrastinating. Oh, my God. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Brian. Oh, Brian, do you want to join me on this? I'm going to invite you to join me really fast. It's going to be really fun. Brian Wood. Do you guys know Brian Wood? He makes great comments. I'm totally about to invite him. Um, Best Friends Forever is an apocalyptic road trip movie. I'm just answering this question. Um, it's an apocalyptic road trip movie that I wrote with one of my friends and I directed and um, also co-star on. So I'm kind of like all over this movie. And it's sort of a drama, not as much of a sci-fi movie as you would imagine. Um, and it premiered, not this year, but last year at Slamdance. And now it's out on DVD. That's what I'm doing right now, I'm putting all the DVDs. Because we've raised a lot of our money on Kickstarter. Um, and so now we owe people all these DVDs, which is funny. Because this stuff I'm paying for out of my pocket. Because we uh, don't have any money left to send the DVDs, which... I think we would have budgeted for it, but weird stuff comes up, so we get end up having to do that. Um, thoughts on another skit at the UCB Theater? Oh. Albert M. says thoughts on another skit at the UCB Theater. I, um, my friend's texting me. I, uh, did a show there, I guess maybe you were there. I don't know, no, people at UCB Theater. Oh, my God, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What's up? 
That was really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> coming to, you're coming to hang out with me for a little bit. I guess I am. I'm, I'm very recently just uh, even knowing what a Google Hangout is, so. It's very complicated to me, and as you know, I'm not, I'm not actually that computer savvy. Everybody, Brian Wood, comic book, <laughs> comic book genius. Brian, what are you working on right now? Tell me everything. It's all stuff that's not not announced yet, which is a really annoying thing to to hear. I I, I know that it's all it's all creator owned stuff. So that's good though. I'm kind of like I feel like I might have had my fill of working on all these big company books. Oh really? Wait, yeah. what ones are you working on right now? Um, writing the X Men. Oh, oh, I actually Star don't Wars think. book. Star Wars. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. No, it's definitely fun. Don't get me wrong, but you know, my my heart belongs to the creator own stuff. So. Well, as it should, as it should. That is, that's. I mean, that's where you got your start. Is that where yeah. all comic people get their start? I'm sorry, I'm putting stamps on things literally while I'm talking to you. I'm not like not looking at you. Well, at least you're actually working. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> so. yeah, that's part of being self-employed. Um, uh, Trust me, I <laughs> Well, I did not. I did not mean to crash your. Uh, your no, it's very exciting. I think everybody. I'm just like talking out loud, which always feels so weird to me. Um. Sorry, I'm just saying. There's like a ton of questions on here. Um. All right. It always feels really weird to me to just be like, "Oh, hi, I'm talking in a vacuum." Like, you know what I mean? So when you when you that's why I invited you to come hang out. I mean, do you do you have any any idea if you're being watched by like five or five hundred? Yeah, like not that many. Well, it only tells me how many people are watching me via Google, oh, okay. and that's at the bottom, and it's only like 17. But there's other people watching yeah. me on YouTube, and people can chat on YouTube. Yeah. I don't know how to watch that. I think. No. Well, actually, maybe I do know how to watch that. Let's see that idea. Um, this is all very complicated to me, but <laughs> you should talk to people this way. I'm sure everybody, people would like to talk to you. Yeah, I'm totally. There are people on YouTube right now oh, chatting yeah. somehow, but. Great. Oh, it's so complicated. By like five or five hundred. Yeah, like not that many. Oh my God. Wow, I don't want to hear my own voice. You're like, yeah, that's right. that, that, that was me trying to watch the YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Say something entertaining. Drop some big news. Well, I I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> I was going to ask you what what your your news was. I did get some good news today, but it's something I also can't talk about. Yeah, that's the way it is. You never know, say anything until you sign a contract. This is the rule, people. If you say something before you sign a contract, then people are going to, then it's never going to happen. <laughs> I feel like it's going to always happen. They're going to ask you about it for like the next five, next five like, years. Oh, I'm not going to be in whatever, the fourth yeah. season of Heroes. God. <laughs> or whatever. Because um, so you never know. That kind of stuff. Very cool. Well, yeah. I'm not sticking around for a long time. I just okay, wanted to... fine. I'm glad you came in. Okay. me. How's New York City? Is it hot or cold? It's pouring rain, like crazy, crazy, crazy rain. Is it really? Yeah. It's like 95 degrees here. It's like so hot. I have hardly left my couch today because it's too hot. Are you in Texas or? Uh, no, I'm in California. California. Okay. I'm permanently in California now. I have like no family in Texas anymore. Everybody's gone. Oh, I don't know why I thought you. Uh, I don't know. I'm there a lot. I was there a lot for a while. I'm also in Louisiana all the time shooting movies. Okay. Or something. Huh. Anyway. Anyway. Well, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, well, it's fine. Yeah, no. Thanks for, uh, <laughs> I don't know, inviting me. Um, I am going to drop you a note because I do want to tell you some interesting news because I have to tell some, some. Oh, my God. Drop me a note. That's really exciting. Okay. All right. I'll, oh my God, people, you heard it here first. I'm getting a note. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's very, very uh, exciting, I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. All right. Have fun stamping. Okay. Thanks for stopping in. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. That's very exciting. Oh, my gosh. There's so many things that you guys wrote. Okay. The cheapest way to ship a DVD is by first-class letter at a cost of $0.44. Cents. This rate could be further reduced for bulk mailings. This is the right, the Netflix and Blockbuster. Right, right, but what, I don't know if that includes, like, um, it's not just, like, a DVD, it's, like, a DVD case, so it's, like, big, like this. Um, but thank you. Oh, my gosh, I love these questions. If you could swap bodies with another actress for a day or two, 
The question does not finish, but I feel like I know what the rest is. Sarah Paulo. Polo. Um, I don't know. Kind of like feel like I should be that blonde haired girl on the following. So that would be kind of fun. <laughs> Shoot some fun stuff to do on there. Um, I've been watching a lot of V. Be really fun to uh, switch bodies with Julia Louis Dreyfus. It'd also be funny, fun to switch bodies with a woman who just like has like a really amazing body and looks awesome. Oh, that'd be cool. I could do that. Good question. Uh, what color would a Smurf turn if you choked it? Oh, I get it. It's a good joke. I like that one. Um, I just got done chatting with Doug Benson and 3K other people on this page. Hearthstone is the best. Saw you guys in the Elite Lounge. Thanks for watching that. That's super fun. You guys can write questions over on the side if you want. Doug Benson had like 3,000 people. I have like three. But he's a lot funnier than I am. Would you rather lose $1,000 every month for no reason at all or be required to eat one random bug every week? You guys are crazy. <laughs> Phil! Phil, the DVDs are only for folks who didn't get a digital download, right? right? You can say 40% on me. I got the MP4. Yeah, Phil, I did. I'm about to ask you to join my hangout, just so you know. Yeah, that, um, I, they're only for people who gave me Phil up. Oh, wait, I did it Um, yeah, so for Best Friends Forever, we gave people the, op shit, shit. We gave people the option of a digital download. Probably inviting Phil. If you guys don't know Phil, he's a bad astronomer, astronomer and he's really fucking cool. Um, he's super fun. Yeah, for Best Friends Forever, we gave people the option of a um, digital download. Um, and if they wanted that, they could do that instead of a DVD, which saved us a lot of money. Because, like I said, we spent a lot of money. Um, and also... Like, I don't collect DVDs. I know people do, and that's, you know, obviously we were, like, would love to send DVDs to anybody who wanted one. Um, um, sorry, I'm reading. Um, yeah, so we gave the option of a digital download, and, like, 400 people did that one instead of getting DVDs, which I kind of thought would be the case. So then instead of having, like, a DVD junk up your house, which is what happens to me is that I'm like, ah, I have all these DVDs that, like, I've already seen, and I may never watch again. And if I did, I wouldn't mind. Like, I would just watch it on Netflix or something. Um, yeah, so we gave people the option to download it so those people now own it and everything with it. Kevin Ferris texting me. He's on his way home. It's very exciting. <laughs> uh, are you a Targaryen? Oh my god, it's some nerd humor or something that I don't understand. Is that what that is? Um, I think I'm going through these questions. USPS really does have DVD mailers. Cost to mail is actually under a buck. No kidding. Hans, I appreciate that. It kind of stresses me out to think about it, though, to be honest. Um, yeah. I bet they do. I don't know. They were. I went to USPS today, and this is what they gave me. <sighs> Guys, I'm getting close to being done. It's very exciting. I'm catching you, right? Um, we also have to ship off. This is like only part of it because we have to ship off these. Uh, um, one of our perks. They don't call them prizes on Kickstarter. Perks, one of our perks was um, people got, because we shot Best Friends Forever on um, Super 16 film, one of our perks was uh, they got a film canister, like one of our film canisters. So we just send those, which are like super heavy and really expensive to send. Um, not that I'm complaining. Um, but What's funny is that our film canisters are all, like, used from, like, other shoots. So it says stuff like, like, they say about Best Friends Forever on, but it's because we wrote it on there. Because they actually said stuff like, I can't remember some of the ones we had, but, like, other movies that are bigger and more famous than our 
little movie. Do you guys like watch indie movies? Tell me what your favorite indie movie is in the Q and A thing. If you're in the Google Hangout, because I watch indie movies all the time. I was gonna try to watch this movie called The Battery today, but uh, I'm looking at my television, but my television is being weird. And you had to rent it on Vudu, and Vudu was like really complicated to rent. Um, I did not watch it, but I'm going to try to rent it. I tried to rent it on Amazon, and my computer seemed crappy. So. Anyway, that was a long story that ended with nothing. Um, I like telling y'all's questions about Hearthstone. I like that everyone's rolling to that. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Hearthstone. Hearthstone or Hearthstone. Um, I generally play with the Paladin, but I'm getting kind of good at playing with the Rogue. And I'm trying to get better at playing with the Priest, because I feel like people who are like good at the Priest are really good. Really. Like people will like kick my ass with the priest. So we'll get that one card that like draws a card every time. People really hate him. It's probably hating us if you've never played the game. They get that one card that draws a card every time that someone is healed, and then they just have like forty billion cards in their hand. They just like, kick my ass all over the place. So exciting. You guys are gonna have to ask me more questions because I'm really bad at just talking in a stream of consciousness. My boyfriend would probably disagree with. So. Um, I was just giving Primer as my favorite indie film. That's a really good movie. I like that you said that. I think Primer's on Netflix right now. I thought I saw it the other day. It's pretty exciting. Um. I'm gonna try to see. I'm gonna try to look at the YouTube thing one more time. See if I can get back into it. But then, how do I look at? How do I look at the? I know there's a way to do chat on YouTube. Hmm. Okay, whatever. I have no idea. It totally is. What happens to the film cells after showing them in theaters? Oh, you mean like what happens like since we shot on film? You know, most theaters don't project film. Um, so, and we don't have like a copy that does that. So we shot on film and then transferred to digital. So it, it's we we showed it like you know in theaters we showed it on Blu-ray or whatever. I do have like all the leftover that kind of stuff, all the film stuff in my bedroom, but it's not like playable and people don't watch it. It's really expensive to do that kind of stuff. There's like two theaters in LA that do that kind of stuff. Randomly, you think most film festivals would, but they don't. Um, no one shoots on film anymore because digital is so cheap. But that's a really good question. I love these random. Um, would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Someone asked me this the other day. Um, just one big duck. You don't want to fight a whole bunch of stuff. That's crazy. Because it's real little, and you'll have to like ants. Freaking hate ants. Is that a terrible answer? Um, okay. Oh my god, guys, we're getting close to the end of this. Uh, what TV shows are you currently watching that is running on TV? I'm watching Hannibal. It's a good show. Oh, wait. I'm going to select because that's the one I'm talking about. I'm watching Hannibal. That's a good show. I watch that most weeks. Um, I watch a bunch of comedies. I watch um, Review on uh, Comedy Central, which is um, really amazing if you haven't seen it. Oh, I'm moving over to my... Where are they? Now I have to put two. They only had very few dollar ones, $2 ones, and I have to use my $1 ones. 
Um, I'm watching Review, which is this really good show on Comedy Central with An Andy Daly, um, where he goes and like reviews life, and it's really dumb, really funny. Um, Kevin would disagree with the horse-sized duck. Well, Kevin can make that decision on his own. Um, I'm watching Review. I'm watching... I watched The Mindy Project, which everyone may judge me for. I don't know. Um, what else currently airs on TV that I watch? I watch Mad Men every, every week. I've watched that like since the beginning. It's about to end, which is really crazy. Um, I watch The Daily Show most days, actually, which comes out every day. I watch John Oliver's new show. I like it. It's good. Um, would you like to see reviewed on reviewed next? Running a Kickstarter campaign? Could that be what I want to see? Um, I don't know. They do a really good job. I mean, what I think they do really well in that show is they um, kind of doing like the worst job of putting these stamps on. Uh, is that they do a good job of like keeping like it's just it's sequential but not sequential. So it, you know, it starts with. You know, you think that it's going to be, oh, this sh we'll never hear about this again, but then it keeps going back to like, the things they've already reviewed, like the divorce keeps coming up and things like that because he reviewed divorce. I thought that was, that was really funny. Um, do I have a piggy bank? I, yeah, I mean, it's not a pig. Is that still a piggy bank? I have a, um, I have one bucket for change which occasionally I will just bring into my car because I use it for parking so much and then I'll like switch the buckets into like a different bucket. But it's like actually a container that used to contain cookie dough. It's like these round containers that contain cookie dough. Really good for that, for change keeping. Um, and then um, Kevin has a um, piggy bank that plays noises that he got in Japan. It plays all the Japanese like uh, train stops or something. I've never been to Japan. But that's what he says it is, and so I sometimes I put money in that one. Um, so sometimes he gets my change. What's my next project? I don't know. I'm, um, well, the weird thing about being an actress is that you often don't know what your next project is. I'm up for projects all the time, but I don't for. <laughs> um, and then uh, I have some of my own that looks like we're going to be able to do, which is pretty exciting, but I don't know when that will start shooting. But I'm really hot. Well, I guess I probably can't say what it is. I can't say what it is. It would be really crappy if it didn't happen and then people, this video like goes to YouTube or something weird like that. Um, but there is a cool web thing that I'm doing soon, which will be really fun, I think. Um, and I think people will like it. Um, because it is based on something I've already done. Um, someone's letting me know their dinner is ready. If I'm at SCCC San Diego Comic Con this year, you hope we get a chance to... Oh, that's Phil saying that. Okay, bye, Phil. See you later. <laughs> I skipped San Diego Comic Con this year. Last, this past year. Because I didn't really have anything to talk about. And I didn't really want to go and spend all that money. Um, but I did go to WonderCon, just for fun. It was cool. Um... Do you guys have favorite cons? You should let me know if you have favorite cons. I like WonderCon. I like I like um, Emerald City is really fun. I've only been to that one once, but I had a really good time. I need I like New York Comic Con. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll do SDCC at all this year. It's like for anyone who's been, it's kind of um, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. I didn't get a hotel room. You have to do that like way ahead of time. And like, I, it just seems like a lot of work. When I could just like stay at home in my house, which is what I do most nights. Um, game shop. Oh my god. I really liked doing game shop. It was like one of my favorite things I've done. If you guys haven't seen game shop, it was on um, IGN Start, and it's still up there on YouTube, I think. Um, but these guys are really amazing that I know from UCB, from Upper Citizens Brigade, and they um, wrote it and asked me to be in it, which was really cool, and I got to play a, a girl who works at a game shop. Um, and it was really cool, and I don't think they're going to do it anymore, because IGN Start doesn't exist anymore, I think, or if it does, it's under, like, someone else owns it. 
um, which is crazy because that thing got like crazy amount of views and people seem to really respond like really positively to it. Like if you go read the YouTube comments, super weird how like it's YouTube comments like people should be assholes and they're actually just like really nice and like seem to really like the series. And I think it was cool because all those guys who wrote it are like actual um, gaming people, like they're actual gamers, and so they like really. It was cool. They wrote about like stuff they knew. So, um, and they're comedians, which made it obviously quite good. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Game Shop, you guys should go check it out. It's something I'm super proud of. Um, will you be working with Nord Nerdist tomorrow, like the Real Housewives of Horror? That's. Yeah, we'll have to see. <laughs> I hope so. We will see. We're definitely like talking to Nerdist about doing some more stuff. Um, they're so nice to us over there, and they've been really nice to me. And hopefully, I've been nice to them today. Hopefully, more things will happen. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, is it true that cannibals don't eat clowns because they taste funny? This guy is full of jokes. He must be a stand-up comedian, sir. Oh no, I got the wrong. Yeah. Don't put too much money on them. Um, how many more envelopes do you have left to stamp? Guys, I only have this many left. I've been working on this for a long time. That's it. And then, well, I, that's not totally true. I have like uh, maybe like six more really big ones, but um, I'm, I have um, Fabia Moon, who's an, another amazing comic, comic guy, like Brian Wood, who joined me earlier. Um, he uh, did some artwork for us, and we made prints of them, and I have to get, like, six stuff in those envelopes. So if anybody's waiting for their Fabio Moon art, it's going to arrive. Just have to put it in the envelopes and send it. But my um, co-writer slash co-star slash producer of Best Friends Forever has them at her house right now, so I have to go get them. Um... I had a feeling I'd be close with that question when you said something on the web uh, when you're talking about Real Housewives. I hope you like Real Housewives to be fun. Jordan Morris frequently shows up on the Indoor Kids podcast. I know. I'm thinking about it. I want him to come on my podcast. I started doing a podcast. We're like seven episodes in, so like less than two months ago, um, called Mystic Party, where we help people deal with their paranormal problems. So we have someone come on in there. Like last week, Laura Ortiz came on, who was on this show called Holliston, which was really good. Um, and she had a possessed car um, and who she was in love with. And so we, we as me and my brother, we help her with her problems. It's pretty fun. Will you go to prom with me? Um, I don't think, look, can I look at a photo of you? I feel like I can. Yeah, I can. I'm about to look at a photo of you, Dave. Not to see if you're attracted because you look older than prom. I don't feel like, I feel like you've already been to prom. I don't feel like. That was a real question. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Pressing too many buttons. Um, I think it'd be weird if I went to prom with anybody because I'm old. I did go to prom three times in high school to various proms that were not my own. And then I went to my own my senior year and I hated it and I left really early um, because I did not like anybody who went to my high school. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, that's the one about Jordan. Are you doing the Heroes reboot? I don't think so. If I am, I don't know that answer. <laughs> I don't know if I am. Um, that's not the kind of thing they really call us ahead of time. Let us know. You know, my character died, and I know the rule of Heroes is that you can always come back, but I don't think uh, that's going to happen for this one. I'm excited to see the Heroes reboot. I, I kind of get the feeling that they're going to do a bunch of new folks and then put in some of the older, old faces to the Masiokas and the Hayden Panettieres of the world. Um, that's what I would do. I think it's going to be a fun show, though. Shit, I don't think I have enough. Oh, no, I don't have enough stamps! <laughs> that's the worst. You guys are watching me fail over here at my Kickstarter. How is that possible? I have to go back to the... Post office. That's what I mean. Ivy West, don't worry. Your Kickstarter DVD is on its way. I like the people who are on Twitter and they were telling me that they were excited to get their DVDs. Hopefully their name is in here and I didn't like somehow miss it, but I think it's fine. 
Um, do you guys have more questions? Because I'm actually done with, I'm not done, but I'm out of stance. Such a strange situation. Crap, I need, I need $8 more worth of stamps. $20 more worth of stamps. Oh, yay, you subbed to my podcast a couple of, oh, you five started. Write me a review, too. <laughs> Just, all you have to write on there is, like, awesome or something. Um, you guys don't realize how important reviews are to stuff like that. I know, like, for Best Friends Forever, for this, for our feature, it's, like, a huge thing, like, because you, you know, to get five stars and iTunes and stuff, or even four stars, three stars, like, you know, it affects whether or not people buy it in the future. Is this now Netflix to sell DVDs? <laughs> Wouldn't it be so weird? Make sure they didn't give me a whole nother book of stamps. No. <gasps> Horrible. Oh, wait. Yes. Shit. Okay, no. But you're really upset. Um, tell an embarrassing story about Kevin. What's weird is Kevin's about to be home, so you stick around. You may get to see him walk through the door. Um, embarrassing story about Kevin. Right now I feel like Kevin says everything embarrassing about him in public, himself in public, so I don't think that there's that many embarrassing stories. Just kind of... Uh, he and I could not be more opposite when it comes to, like, public and private lives, I think. So he's not sure to, scared to um, share an embarrassing story. I'm sure if you listen to his podcast, he's um, shared quite a few on there. I like the Indoors Kids podcast, by the way. Just speak to someone wrote about it. Um, no, I still don't have enough stamps. I'm missing, like, three. That's really um, I just, Kevin was just on the Indoor Kids podcast at WonderCon. One of the reasons I was there. Besides to walk around and buy stuff. So I bought a couple of things, but not as much stuff as I thought I was going to buy. But it was there. But Kevin gets stopped every, like, three feet at the, uh, at clones, so we can't really do as much shopping as I want to do. Not that I'm complaining. But I am complaining. Okay, guys, I don't have stamps. So even though I have three envelopes that have do not have stamps, Brian Cohan, Catherine Kahn, and Brian Bauer. That's where there's two Brian's. Which I promise you'll get your your DVDs at some point. I'm just kidding. I'll go get more stamps tomorrow. The post office is closed. Um, so I guess I'm done, kind of. Not really, but like I'm done with all the ones that's going to take me a really long time. Thanks for joining me and hanging out. I appreciate it. We should do this more often, you know, get together, chat over a, a Kickstarter campaign. Anytime. No, seriously, thank you guys for your questions. That was like way more entertaining than half watching a television show, which is what I've been doing through all this. Um, and yeah, if you haven't heard of Best Friends Forever, it's on iTunes still. Um, I don't know where else it is, but you can definitely buy it. It's on DVD, obviously, um, which you can get on Amazon and stuff like that. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, can I drive over and give you some stamps? Dave? Uh, no. The answer is no. You can't drive over and give me any stamps. The post office is actually super close to my house, so I'll just go. But I appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in.